In this video, we will be talking about the significance of a discriminant and what a discriminant means in a quadratic equation. My name is Katya Sieverson. I'm the inventor of the Sieverson Method, a scientifically proven way to learn anything fast, and especially when we need to learn things about the discriminant. The discriminant is a part of a quadratic formula. Many of you are familiar with the quadratic formula. It's negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And it's almost like y equals mx plus b. It's one of those things that we just remember and uh, we may or may not find useful in the future. That's just one of those um, mathematical truths. And a part of that is b squared minus 4ac. That is your discriminant. And your discriminant and some of you are wondering, what are those a's or b's? Um, in a standard form, you have your quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c, and that's your discriminant. Because in a quadratic formula, you can either add or subtract the square root of the discriminant. That is something that can either make sure that you have two roots, one root, or actually make your solutions complex numbers. We cannot take a square root out of a negative number. Therefore, if the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is negative, then you have two non-real solutions. You have two um, imaginary solutions. If your discriminant is equal to zero, you're going to have one solution because there's no difference between adding a zero and subtracting a zero. And then you have um, two solutions or two roots or two zeros of a function if you have um, the discriminant equal to any positive number. In the following videos, I'm going to show you how the SAT can ask you about this concept and how they can test you that knowledge. See you in the next videos. Bye.